This magical tool will superpower your AI art. Hello, my beautiful friends. How are you doing? Yesterday we did a live stream. You can rewatch it here. And you, my amazing community, suggested that tool. So let's get started right away to check it out. This tool has XL in the name, but it is not limited to XL models. You can use it with 1.5 models just fine. Here is a download extension for that tool for different art styles. And as you can see here, there's a massive list of art styles. I will also show you today a really cool trick on how to extend this in any kind of style you want with the help of JetGPT. But let's talk first about what that magical tool is. It's called Style Selector XL and you can install it inside of Automatic 1111 very easily. So for that, you want to have this link from the GitHub page. I will link that below this video. So go up here and copy that link. After that, you go into Automatic 1111 to Extensions and then to Install from URL. You paste the link in up here and then you click on Install and wait for that to finish. Now, as always, I'm going to suggest to you to completely restart Automatic 1111 so everything is going to load correctly. Now, inside of Automatic 1111, when you scroll down, you will see that you have here the extension. It is called SDXL Styles, but this is not limited to SDXL. It also works on 1.5 models just fine. And here you have all these kind of fields where you can simply select the style you want to apply to your image. Now, here is the important thing. This does not need a LoRa. It does not need a specific model because this is just adding keywords to the positive and negative prompt of your image. Now, another thing that's very important here is that you keep the prompt short and simple and also empty the negative prompt field and only add the things you absolutely need, like for example, nude or not safe for work. So when we go back inside of Automatic 1111, you can see here I have written as my prompt woman sitting on a chair and I have as my negative prompt nude and NSFW. Down here for the SDXL style selector, I've enabled the style selector and I have chosen origami as a style. Now for this model, I would suggest to you to use a model that is very flexible in the style, for example, Dream Shaper 7. And here you can see the absolutely stunning output that looks like an origami woman sitting on a chair. Isn't that mind blowing? Now here comes the even better part. You can use ChatGPT to enhance that list to build your own list. I will show you now how that is done. So when you're going into the automatic 1111 folder and in there into the extensions folder, you will see that we have down here the style selector folder. So click on that and in there you have JSON files. Now in that file, when you open that up with your normal text editor, you will find a list like this. Now here you can see that you have a square bracket and then a point bracket and then you have a very simple layout for the name base the prompt prompt and then the negative prompt and this in here with the pointy brackets that says prompt this is where your prompt words are going to be put by the extension. Now below that you have several examples of that. For example, name 3D model prompt, professional 3D model, pointy brackets prompt, octane render, highly detailed volumetric detailed lighting. As a negative prompt, you have ugly, deformed, noisy, low poly, blurry painting. Now here is what you do. You select a part of that to give an idea to ChatGPT what you want to have. We will copy that over to ChatGPT. So inside of ChatGPT, we're going to do the following. As a prompt, we're going to write, create a new file using this format example, but make all the prompts about 10 painting styles. Don't use the content from the example. So it does not repeat what we already have. And then I write here example. And I have here the copy of the text. And as you can see at the end, we have a pointy bracket and then we have a square bracket. But there is no comma in between because there is no more other style following after that. Now, after we hit enter, you can see that ChatGPT is using that exact format. And now it creates different art styles 
styles with a prompt and negative prompt in there. Impressionism, abstract expressionism, surrealist, cubism, pop art, realism, watercolor, pointillism, gothic art. You can of course make the list a lot longer if you want to. Now to save all of that, up here you have a button to copy code. So copy that. You want to go back to your text editor and then open a new file. You want to paste this in here and then you simply want to save that as a JSON file. And you can write anything you want. New art styles dot JSON. That's the important part dot JSON at the end. And we're going to save that. You want to go into the folder and check if this was saved as a JSON file. Yes, indeed it was. Now the only downside for this extension is that it does not have a selector of that list. So you kind of have to rename the list to SDXL styles. So I click on this file here and I put on the end dot alt. I want to change that. Yes. And then I go here to my other file list and I'm going to rename this to SDXL styles. After we've done this, another downside is that you have actually to reload automatic 1111. So it loads the new list. But now, as you can see, we have our new styles down here. Now, of course, another alternative way to use this is to copy the new styles into the already existing styles of the SDXL styles list. But now I can, for example, select here pointillism and then render an image. And again, I have Dream Shaper 7 here. It's a SD 1.5 model, no problem. And here you can already see the stunning result that we got. This is with the help of chat. GPT. How amazing is that? I hope this extension soon gets a list selector so you can have any amount of lists you want to have. Let me know in the comments what you think about this extension. My mind is blown. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.